in case of chin elevation, firstly, we determine if there is normal elevation of both eyes or there is a limitation of elevation of one or both eyes. If there is normal elevation of both eyes, chin elevation occurs in cases of a pattern isotropia where the isotropia increase in up gaze and diffuse in down gaze or in a V pattern exotropia where extropia increases in up gaze and diffuse in down gaze. The second cause of chin elevation with normal elevation of both eyes is manifest congenital nystagmus where sometimes in these children, nystagmus has its null point in down gaze. Then, if there is limitation of elevation of one or both eyes, of course, we do force induction tests to differentiate between paralytic causes with negative force inductions and restrictive causes with positive force induction. About the negative causes. This includes superior rectus palsy, double elevator palsy, or inferior oblique palsy. It also occurs in brain stem supranuclear disease that supranuclear disease in which there is limitation of elevation of one or both eyes like in Perinot syndrome, about the positive force induction causes of limitation of elevation of one or both eyes. This includes endocrine myopathy, in orbital floor fracture, in inferior rectus fibrosis, and in Brown syndrome. Thank <laughs> you.